made the check in on the alligator net four watts <laughs> they could hardly hear me over the static but we made the distance uh, no amp 3.4 watts this is the sneak peek in the pack this is my get home slash gear bag that I keep in the truck. Attached to the outside is a little radio pack. Now this just mollies to the outside of the pack, which is a standard attachment method for most gear bags. And yeah, take this inside. This panel lives in the truck too, uh, for charging the man pack batteries and just about anything else. And also within this pack is a solar panel for charging my phone and other peripherals. Uh, you can see what's inside here over on my other channel, Tech Tech Trail. This is the big brother, the man pack that we covered already on the channel and I've been putting it through its paces heavy over here at camp. I did add the tough book the tough pad the fcg1 and uh, i've been running this steady on digital modes and oh, incredibly happy but you want to see what's inside here and i am super pleased with it so far again this is brand new i just put it together and so far so good uh, as you saw in the intro this is working beautifully so inside here i have the radio and its battery pack. Uh, this doesn't have USB. I think I might get one that adds it. I have all of my 25 feet of coax. This one's brand new because I've been using the other one outside, which is uh, the antenna up in the tree right now is just a uh, NFED half wave. The same as this NFED half wave. And yeah, pretty sure it'll work out pretty good. 49 to one on on. Um, unbalanced to unbalanced transformer and that allows me to use the uh, the NFED half wave just at about 64 feet or so of wire and uh, checked it with nano VNA they work great uh, this one has to be tuned yet electrical tape fittings for nano VNA how handy to have that that way we can tune our antennas. In the bottom here, we have the charger for this pack. I may make a smaller one that's kind of unruly sized. We also have a tuner in case we want to make up a different antenna. These antennas are perfectly one-to-one, uh, -one, no problem for uh, SWR. Don't need tuning, but what I would like to add is uh, another uh, off-center fed di dipole um, that I'll make today. And uh, I just have to look up the length of the wires I need for that, which I can actually use. I'm running a local large language mod model on that computer too, which is pretty cool. Here is how we do all of our digital modes. So this is the DigiRig light. This is brand new, I haven't tested it yet. So this will interface to the phone that's uh, doing the videoing right now, and then interface to the radio, which I'll use for uh, WinLink for email, which was working awesome. Thank you to Julian and others who have helped me test that out. And uh, JS8 call for uh, some kind of uh, chats and uh, some signals intelligence stuff, which is actually pretty fun. I'm no stranger to the DigiRig, that's how uh, I'm doing it with the other radios on the main man pack, but I'm using the DigiRig Mobile. This is just a little bit smaller and it goes directly into my phone. I think that is, ah, yeah. This, uh, I think people call them Cobra connector. I, I don't know why. Um, is it the two tongue thing? You guys tell me. Anyway, uh, it's just a BNC splitter uh, often used on scopes. And this allows me to make a dipole antenna expedient anywhere, anytime, no problem with any wire that I have. And an adapter. And ah, USB. This actually has all my large language models and all my uh, software defined radio, uh, ham reference, all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, I don't feel that I'll need it because everything's on the tablet, but you never know. Might as well have it with me. It weighs nothing. And these things are dirt cheap on Amazon. And then obviously the pack, this is a Timu special. 
Uh, the rest you can find some links in my Amazon store, and I'll try and put links down below eventually. And yeah, oh, I, I skipped over this. This is a arborist line, but with a Jamaican style hacky sack for my throw rope to get the antenna up in a tree. And uh, yeah, so far so good with that. It's not as nice as the arborist little beanbag thing. It's just a little lighter, but those things are 30 bucks a piece. And this was basically free out of an old drawer somewhere, my junk drawer in the house. So I uh, don't think I'll be playing hacky sack anymore. That's, that's the rig as it sits and it all fits in here and it's always with me. The man pack I won't be carrying very often. This I have with me all the time. It's always in the truck. I can do digital modes anywhere. I can do anything on HF. And then I also have my two meter HT with me too as well in the truck. So. Delta, Delta, and Delta from Valdor, Quebec.